Hey guys, Mitch here with the Audio Dabble YouTube channel, and I'm just going to take a quick look, a little nugget of knowledge, if you will, on the go to pattern section in the Rosetta XOX, or it's also in. I know there's also one in sales, manual change, go to any, or you know, all that stuff, and a couple others, but I'm just going to focus in on this one, but all of the terminology will work across the board and all the concepts will work across the board so I have this set up I have MV08 listening to Rosetta and I'm going to just point Rosetta at MV08 and I'm just gonna have MV08 their little pattern here and I'm just gonna randomly generate a pattern and press play Okay, and so that's randomly generated a pattern on one, and obviously it's going to just loop that pattern until I manually change it because that's what the go to section is. So if I click on three, even though it has anything, nothing in it, it's going to go to three and play nothing. All right, so if I want it to go to the next one, it will go to the next one after so many loops. You can go up a lot or down to one. And just for brevity's sake, I'll keep it at one. That way we don't have to listen to a whole bunch. But it will, wait. So go to next after one. And it went to one. It went to the next one, even though there's nothing in it. Now, go to next used will do exactly that. It will find the next one that does not have anything blank inside. And so we'll put some, just a four on the floor on five, and we'll hit play. Actually, that went to next. Stop, go back to one. We need next used. There we go. And it'll play through, and it went to five. So. We've got that established that the go to next is go to next used will go to the next used one that has nothing in it. Now go to first and go to last that will physically go to the first loop or the last loop or section and it will regardless of if there's anything in it. And then the go to other and I'm reason I'm stressing as long as regardless of if there's anything in it because the go to other and go to any will only do that to the ones that have patterns inside of it um, but they act a little bit different and it's almost explanatory but it was a little confusing at first whenever unless you really like dive deep into the thinking I emailed the developer um, and he kindly responded with my presumptions were correct and so I'm just going to demonstrate that and so go to other is going to go to any other except for the one that it's currently on and then go to any will go to any even the one that it's currently on so it's it's like it's like randomization go to other excluding myself or go to any is including myself and so I'll just press play and you'll see it on five but five is go to any so it may randomly select itself five ten times in a row so there's really no rhyme or reason I mean it's, it's a, generating a random number or some sort of randomization inside the app and so it does have a tendency sometimes to select itself you know several times in a row that I've noticed in the logic which is with any randomization if you're a programmer you know there um, depending on how complex you make the randomization it can it can select a similar or same number um, multiple times in a row uh, so that's what those do and then I've covered go to first and go to last so that's pretty much it so uh, I guess a fun thing that you can do would be to have a couple go to other like this and then the like the four on the floor is kind of go to any and so it'll select itself several times
you know then it may select itself a couple times but you get you get this random kind of randomization of different patterns um, you know just to keep keep your beat fresh and keep it keep it interesting and kind of uh, generative and um, so yeah that's, uh, that's all I have for this video I just wanted to just do a quick little tip and just show you exactly explain what each of these does and um, you know how you can use them it's really really cool and it works across pretty much across the board on any of their uh, the Brambo's um, Rosetta suite that have the different patterns here uh, that's got the go-to pattern it'll work pretty much the same um, I will note that sales right here by default I covered this in a, in a previous video but by default it has stuff in all of them and so when you're doing go to any it's going to go to any because they're all any but I do have an empty one that I cleared everything out and so if I have have it go into any I don't think it'll go to any unless if there's something in it so let's uh, bring up the keyboard record in I'm not going to hear anything because I don't have anything mapped to it but we'll see that it's not physically switching it's not switching because you get a little indication too you'll get a little highlight right there of where it's going and we're not getting a highlight anywhere so it's not going anywhere go to any or go to other and so as long as there's as long as it's blank like two three four is all all of those are blank it's not going to go there and so you're pretty safe when going to any or the other unless you want it to go to you know one that's blank um, so that that uh, pretty much sums it up thanks for watching um, I do have a Patreon and a direct PayPal me link in the description. All other links to the equipment and stuff that I use are in the description. Uh, give it a big thumbs up if you like this video, if it helps you out. And also comment below any other questions that you have about the uh, Rosetta suite of apps. If there's anything that you'd like me to go into depth on and uh, you know, just kind of do a little quick tip like this. Um, I will do it. Uh, thanks for watching. I will talk to you later.